This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson getting properties. Let's see. Add your own elements. Now it's time to add some elements of your own. The motorcycle should be able to move up and down right now, but how can you control its speed? If yours can't move up and down, you need to go back to the last part of this lesson. If you're confused on it, watch my tutorial. Do this. Add a slider in the design mode. Make sure you set the min and max values of the slider in the design mode. Oh, okay, we're going to add a slider. So, slider. Oops, um, whoa. Uh, I'm going to delete that. That's not what we want. Okay. So... I'm going to call speed slide. Er. Uh, that's fine. A width of, eh, why not, 200. Okay, I'll put that there. Oh, the min and max values. So the minimum will be, where's that? Here. The min will be zero. That's fine. What should the max be? Um, 50 would go off the screen so fast. Why not? Ooh, it, why not a... We'll say 25. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that's the default value. Okay. The minimum value will be... The max value will be 25. 0 to 25, and then the default will be 10? Sure. Perfect. All right. Now, we made our slider for that. Create an event that will trigger when the slider is changed. So now we're going to do what we have been doing, and I'm going to go grab on event. And let me get some more space here. Whoops. Whoa, control Z. I'm going to undo what I just did there. All right, now, on the event that the slider, I named mine speed slider, and you can hover over yours to see what yours is named. On the event that speed slider is changed, okay, we are going to variable. Oh, except we already have speed, but it's universal, so... We don't need to declare it again. We can use speed. Speed's going to be equal to the... Uh, we need UI controls because we're going to get the property. And what property are we going to get? Well, we need to know its ID. I do. It's speed slider. And then do I want the width? No, no, no. I want its current value. So, hey, computer, get the property speed slider. Grab it. And when you do... What's that value? And whatever that value is, right now it would be equal to 10 because that was the default. Speed is now going to be equal to that. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and set property to. Now we want to set the property of the motorcycle like we're doing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we don't. We only want to actually move it when we press the buttons. We just want to change the speed and leave everything else alone, I think. Okay. Let's give that a shot, then. Okay, so that was two presses. Let's see if it will go farther. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's do this. I'm going to say the maximum value is 50, and I'm going to make the steps 5. And then let's have the default be 25. Okay, so let's crank this up to 50. Oh, yeah, that's big, because if we get now go all the way down here... Oh my gosh, I can't even see it move. Maybe that much? <laughs> That's so cool. We're controlling the speed with this toggle. All right, now let's use this button. And it will work in reverse. That is awesome. I can totally see how we could make some little game out of this. That's super neat.
All right. Uh, onward.